So sitting here, try to pull your head up. Anytime you feel your head going down too hard, you reach over top, grab. If you need to, or whether you want to, you put your hand over your head over top of the hand, so you can use it as a, an extra hand. Grab, and everything comes down as fast as you can. Pulls, it's gonna force his shoulder, he kind of like three half legs to be prepared for that. But after you pull, in these kind of position, he's gonna want to loosen his up, he's gonna straight off the head. That's when you start coming in. You wanna take the shot as quick as you can. The thing you need to focus on is if you take the shot, make sure you shoot through the forearm, not the bicep that he brings it down. What I mean by that is this elbow is the midline. You don't go above this. If I shoot underneath, First thing we need to do is one hand on the chin. We go same side. We match the grip. We grab with all four fingers. Make sure you grab all four fingers. Not only is it illegal to grab with all three, but there's more leverage to use all four. So this one time following the rules is actually more helpful. So we pull it. We pull this down. We only have to get the forearm off our, out of our area. We don't have to get the whole arm off. We just got to get the forearm off. So we can tuck our head underneath. Once I get my head on the outside, it doesn't matter where, I can start driving in. Now, if I drive in, I need to unhook the far side and keep this wrist. If I keep this wrist and unhook the far side, there's nothing you can do to stop me from coming back. Now, if I can't come back up, for whatever reason, if he's just moving a lot and I feel like it's going to be easier, I can not just stand straight. But either way, he's not stopping me. If he's doing the front head lock, exactly. If he's doing front head lock and he locks his hands, there's two things we're gonna do with all the ball re-gripping his elbow. So the goal is to grip it and then lock it down. So I lock it down with my arm and then I lock my arm down with my knee. When I do that, I have two options. First thing I do, I can start sitting here and use it and wait for it to open. Second thing I can do. Is I can start attacking. I can use this arm, I can jump to the far side of my body, and I can start rotating up. Start attacking him. Whether or not I get it, doesn't really matter. It's going to start forcing him to loosen up the grip, and then I can start attacking wings again. Is that it? If he does manage to go around, so for one, if I have that, this arm, he's not moving that side. So this side is automatically locked down. So what he might do is go the other way. So if he goes the other way, that way he's fine. I'm going to go out that way. But if he manages to pull his arm out and goes this way, I keep his arm. Essentially, you're just going to keep an arm. Keep an arm and start attacking the same side. You know? If he does get behind you, don't panic. Just don't let this leg come in. This leg comes in, you're fucked. You now have to start to panic. But as long as this leg ain't in here, you're fine. Now what I can do is I can turn to face him, come up for 201, come up for Russians, all kinds of things. But in the event that I'm still kind of stuck here, he's trying to squish me, I just pick it up and I start pulling on his arm until he comes up in front of me again. More often than not, he's not going to let me go to, all the way to his back. So as I'm pulling this, he's going to just rotate off and he's going to come back to where I want That's it. Hey, can you send that to me?